Welcome, everybody. I am excited to be here with Rick Storley, the owner of Builder Lead Converter. How's it going, Rick? Hey, doing well, Eric. Thank you very much. How are you today? Doing great. Excited for, uh, for you to be on here, kind of give us a little sneak peek about what you're going to you know, be sharing at Job Tread Connect and, you know, just kind of tell us a little bit, bit, bit more about your business. I mean, so why don't you, you know, kind of, kind of start from the beginning. I mean, what, what do you guys do and, you know, how do your services, uh, you know, how can they help all of our, uh, you know, construction customers on Job Tread? Well, thanks very much uh, for uh, asking the question. And I am very excited for Connect. Uh, we, we've really been very happy so far with the uh, the, the builder clients that uh, you guys have and, and uh, you know, they're so impressed with what you're doing with job tread. And, um, uh, you know, it's just really cool to, to learn more and more about that. And we're really happy to be a partner. Uh, so in a nutshell, Eric, uh, what we do is we help our builder partners attract, capture and convert high quality leads so they can pick and choose their clients and jobs. Um, all this is based around uh, the it's a technique called production slot selling. It's where instead of you let your marketing drive your sales, your actual or your your production drives your sales. So uh, everybody has a finite amount of production they can do in a year. So production slot selling is all based around you look at what you can produce in a year. You create start slots for that, and then our job is to provide you more opportunities than you can handle for those start slots. So scarcity creates urgency. Uh, and that can help move people through design faster and it can help get contracts signed faster because they know there's a finite amount of time in order to meet a start date so they can actually be living in and enjoying their new home or their remodeled space. So we're all about the front end partnership. Um, uh, we really are set up as a sales assistant. So we brand ourselves as the perfect sales assistant. So when our builders partner with us, we do all the heavy lifting when it comes to attracting the leads, capturing the leads, doing all the follow-up with the leads, and then we book appointments for them. We deliver those appointments to the lead. They're they're somewhat pre-qualified and then deliver to the builder, excuse me. And then the builder has a call with the lead in three to five minutes. They're going to know if they're viable and if they want to move them into their sales pipeline. If they do, great. Uh, they just follow their sales process and we map that out for them so they can you know follow that along uh, as need be. And if they're not so good, they say no, you know, and they don't feel bad about saying no. Uh, and that's the whole idea is you have enough opportunities. So when the wrong one comes along, you feel comfortable saying no, because then you can say yes to the right ones. Yeah, well, that's awesome. And, uh, you know, again, tell us tell us a little bit about the integration that you built, because you all were one of the first to, you know, really build on top of our API, you know, really without our help at all. So, you know, obviously, we were very impressed by that. You know, tell us a little bit more about how that works and how that data will you know, automatically flow into job tread. So when you and I talked originally, I said, I spent years at the builder show lobbying some of the other players in the industry. And I said, guys, let's integrate, you know, like, so when our clients get a lead to a certain stage in their sales process where they want to start that estimate, let's just, just let them push a button and they can push all that contact information into their project management software and start the estimate. Well, it was deaf ears, deaf ears, deaf ears. You know, I, I thought it was a good idea, but then along came you guys and said, yeah, we got, a, we got an open source API, which allows us to build that bridge. So that's exactly what it is, Eric, is that we have, a, we have a pipeline that we build for our clients. So there's stages in that pipeline. One of those stages is, let's say, a professional services agreement, or it might be collecting money for a design deposit. Well, at that point, the builder wants to start a formal estimate and move towards getting the design done, getting the estimate done, and then going to contract. So we set up a trigger within our pipeline that as soon as one of our clients just drags and drops the, the customer, no. that information is just seamlessly gets pushed right into JobTread. Then they open up their JobTread account. The customer has created all the contact information is there and they can start the estimate. No double entry, no you know having to go back and forth and look at where did I put that information. It all gets pushed into JobTread and it's seamless. Um, so if you can just left click and drag uh, uh, on a mouse, you've got a new customer in JobTread. Nice. That's awesome, man. And, uh, you know, I know we've had lots of good feedback so far from from those who have been, uh, you know, working with you, but, you know, really excited for you to to be coming out to Job Tread Connect. You know, we appreciate you all being sponsors and, uh, you know, you're also going to be doing an ed session. So, you know, maybe you could tell us a little bit about that. It's, uh, you know, the, the, the title's 19 seconds or less, how to attract, capture and convert high quality digital leads. So give us a little preview of what, what, what that talk will be about. It's all based on the premise that when a, uh, 
a, a lead for either remodeling or a custom home when it lands on uh, one of our builder's websites, the clock starts ticking. So we have 19 seconds to be able to get them the information that they want in order to keep them on the website. That's the first goal. And then number two, we're going to give them an offer, if you will. Um, it's called a permission-based relationship. So we want to give them something of value in exchange for their permission to follow up with them and hopefully convert them into an appointment. Um, so this is all about what attracts that lead to a builder's website, what will hold their attention, what are some of the uh, call to actions or offers that you can give them that to start that permission-based relationship. Um, and then we'll we'll finalize with you know the follow up process that we follow in order to get them on the phone. You know that's our goal is to get them on the phone so our clients can have a conversation. Like I said, three to five minutes. They're gonna they're gonna clarify this is a viable prospect or this is a bad lead. And they can say next. Go you know use the appropriate step. And we want to keep booking those leads seamlessly week in and week out, month in and month out. Um, so they don't have to worry about, you know, where their, their business is coming from. You know, this is this is really what's it's called. A, the technical term is a client acquisition funnel. Um, yeah. It's just something you build, you turn it on and it just spits out opportunities and you just keep feeding it. You know, so they feed the beast is what we call it. Yeah, I mean, I, look, it, it, it sounds too good to be true. I mean, you can literally just fill up people's pipeline with uh, high quality leads. I mean. That's uh that that's phenomenal and and I and I understand you you will also you know uh you know are, are willing to kind of take take people's websites sort of look at it do a full assessment um you know we we we've got you on the job tread marketplace already and that's you know kind of that that website assessment is that is that right that's kind of what you're offering for for free to all of the uh, the job tread customers yeah that's where we start because the, the the common question gets asked like well what should I be doing yeah. you know and I said hey you know before you do anything major. The first thing you have to understand is what opportunity leaks do you have? So in other words, everybody, every builder that has a website, they have people visiting it every month. And what we find is there's normally somewhere between one half to maybe 2% of those leads that will actually opt in uh, and they'll become a potential uh, client. Yeah. So what we want to look at is like, what are the opportunity leaks on that website? So we'll do a website evaluation. We'll say, hey, look, this is what you're missing. This is why your time on site is poor. Um, this is, you know, there's there's three major questions and I'm not going to let them out now, but there's three major questions every single lead has. And if you don't answer those questions in 19 seconds or less, you lost them. So they're going to leave in 19 seconds. They're going to go to your competitor's website and they're going to buy from them. So unfortunately, you might be the best builder around, but if you don't present yourself from a marketing perspective uh, with the information they're looking for, they're gone. Yep. And, and, you, and you and so you've lost them. So we always look at it and say, you know what, let's first plug the opportunity leaks because you might already have two, three, four hundred people a month on your website. Well, if we can change those conversions and we can start converting five, six, seven, eight percent of those, you might find that you don't have to pay. You don't have to go out and spend money on ads or, you know, search engine optimization. Um, so that's where we start is, you know, looking at plugging the opportunity leaks, setting up some KPIs or key performance indicators looking at what can you get off your website right now with not doing anything. And some of our builders are like, hey, this is great. I don't want anymore. I'm not, I don't have enough capacity to handle anymore. Wonderful. Others would be like, hey, you know what? We want more. Okay, let's look at SEO. Let's look at potential advertising platforms. But the nice thing is, is we've got the client acquisition funnel built. Yeah. So now it's just a dumping gas on it and more opportunities means more leads. More leads means more appointments. More appointments means more sales. Yeah. Now, what if you don't have a website at all? Because we've got some customers who hadn't even gotten yeah. into that. Is that uh, you, you can help them with that too? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, one uh, a job check client uh, out of uh, South Carolina starting a new business. You know, he was doing regular remodeling. He wants to start more of a bathroom specialty or, or niche. So yeah, we're we have a package called Fundamentals where we build a new website for all of our clients. We put all the lead magnets on there. We will provide the content. Uh, as well, because a lot of guys starting out, they don't have content. It's like, well, yeah, yeah well, so we'll use, we have sources for content. And so we can make you look like you've been in business for years. Um, mm -hmm. So that builds confidence when somebody comes to the website and then confidence builds permission. So, I mean, when somebody looks at you and they say like, wow, I found my local resource for design, build, remodeling or design, build, home building. I feel comfortable with these guys. I want to take the next step and start that permission-based relationship. I'm going to get something from them. And in return, I'll give them permission to follow up from me. So that's that opt-in permission-based relationship. And those leads convert the best and they're always the highest quality. So it's all about the relationship. 
Awesome. And and I and I hear there may be some other additional uh, specials you might be running at a at Job Tread Connect. Is that uh, is that right? That's right. We are going to have a show special. Uh, I'm not going to announce it till we get to the the show itself, but. For anybody that's been considering our services, we're going to have a one-time offer during the timeline of the show. And so um, if you're there, you'll be able to get the offer. You can take advantage of it. Uh, it will not be available for anyone else, so only those those Connect uh, attendees. Awesome. All right. Well, you know, for everyone out there, if you hadn't gotten your Job Tread Connect tickets, uh, here, here's another great reason to, uh, to, 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 to get them locked in. Um, you know, I'm, I'm curious kind of just in, 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 in wrapping up here, I mean, what, what, what might be one great you know, piece of advice that you would have for construction companies who, you know, who are just, they feel like they're really struggling to get high quality leads. The first piece of advice is don't go out and start running ads. Uh, because more often than not, if you don't have a, a funnel set up, a client acquisition funnel, you're going to pay money on ads. Number one, they're going to be the wrong ads. Number two, probably the wrong call to action. Probably three, they're probably on the wrong medium. Hmm. There's only a couple of different platforms that really um, have high quality design build customers. I mean, like luxury projects. We're talking hundred thousand dollar plus for modeling, million dollar plus uh, custom homes. Um, so you're not going to get that on certain platforms. So what a lot of builders do is they panic. Um, they think they need to go out and start running ads, and they spend a bunch of money on ads. They get a bunch of garbage leads, and then the next thing they say, "Well, that platform stinks." Well, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But if you don't do it right, you're not going to get the results that you want. And then the most important thing, Eric, and I know you you understand this from the from the project management standpoint, is you can't manage what you don't measure. So you have to have the ability to measure every single thing to understand if it is working, great. And if it's not working, you need to be able to stop it and try something else. Awesome. Well, hey, I appreciate your time today for sharing what you're doing. You know, like I said, we got lots of happy customers already. Look forward to having you out at Job Tread Connect. You know, being able to meet face to face with all of uh, all of the Job Tread users there, and uh, yeah, excited to 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 see you helping more and more of them uh, be able to build and, and and scale a great business. Awesome. Well, we appreciate the partnership, and I'm really looking forward to meeting everybody at the at the Connect conference as well. Awesome. Thanks, Rick. Thank you, Eric.